And welcome back to Live in the Hall here at the Georgia Municipal Association Annual Convention. We're in the exhibit hall. Um, and I'm Amy Henderson with GMA and joined by Ansel Davis, council member from Riverdale, Georgia, and our new pre uh, chairman of our training board. Yes. And so you, you've been on the training board for a number of years, I know. Yes. And um, tell us a little bit about why you feel the training is so important, why you got engaged with it. Training is so important because when someone is elected, to public office or elected office, you really doesn't don't know the things you need to know. Right. And so training kind of impacts that, and it gets you on point mm -hmm. and puts you where you need to be, because uh, from taxation to uh, ethics to whatever the, the, the gauntlet might be, right. you need to know. Right, and this is an election year, so of course we'll have new city officials coming in, and the first thing they have to take is the... Yes, the newly new elected classes, and uh, they can either go to Macon most of the time or to the uh, University of Georgia. Okay. And it's through the, um, the Knox uh, program, out of, uh, which is, uh, uh, coincides the, with the University of right, Georgia. Right, the University of Georgia's... Uh, Carl Vincent Institute. The Carl Vincent, yes, yes, yes. Knox and, Academy. Well, tell yes. us a little bit it's about some of the things that they learned because that that training course is mandated by state law and it's a day and a half of classes. What are some of the things that get covered there? Well, you learn how to uh, conduct yourself in a meeting, uh, the do's and don'ts, uh, so you don't get in any trouble. Uh, do something that you shouldn't do. Right. Um, it's an excellent um, sort of get your feet wet, pass your cards out, right. uh, get to network with other council and mayors from around uh, the state and uh, have a, a network of people you can contact that's been in, in, the, in the water a little longer right, than you have. Right, right. Well, and that is, that is, that's such an important thing, too, because so many people, when they're running for, for um, city office, maybe for the first time, they may be running on a single issue, you know, that they may have something, one thing that they don't like or they want to fix or they want to improve on. And city government is a little bit more than one thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's, it's a gauntlet of things from uh, taxation to municipal laws to, you know, mm -hmm. environmental court to, uh, it's, just, it's, a, it's just, like I said, a gauntlet of things that can actually take place. And you really need to know, and the classes right. help prepare you for that. Yeah, because it is a big difference going, A, from a, being a candidate to being, a, being the government, and B, going from being an individual to being this group that you know, maybe going from a private, you know, business type of situation to a government situation where the rules are different, the laws are different. That's right. You know, the, the sunshine law comes into play, and you have to uh, abide by the rules. Right. And you find out that just because you were popular, and you became the uh, uh, the number one guy right. or girl, yeah. it, uh, whatever the situation may be, things change. Yeah. And you can't do it by yourself. It That's takes right. a team. So. Other than, okay, so you, they, you take the newly elected training, and then we have all these, these voluntary classes that you know, we offer through the, as, you know, as chair, uh, you know we've got like 45 different classes that we offer. What, would you, what advice would you give to somebody who's new to office? After you take that initial uh, mandatory class, what classes do you think are, are key to take after that? I think the key classes are how to deal with the media, uh, media relationship, uh, we have something now uh, on the books of uh, Pulse Ferguson, and okay. you know that's a uh, hot it's topic huge. right now. Yeah. And um, a lot of cities and law enforcement is getting in trouble about things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I think taxation you need to know. I think you need to know um, uh, what's next. There's a class that uh, now I've been elected. What do I do now? <laughs> and and, and um, you need to find ways that you could bring um, uh, people who have made mistakes. So you don't make those mistakes, and right. there are classes, and and the legal team at GMA is awesome. Yeah, we, I, I will I will second that. We have a really good group of folks who teach these classes, and it's some of it is um, GMA staff that teach some of the classes. Some yes. of it are the folks from the Carl Vincent Institute, and um, and you guys as a board, you meet what three four times a year. four times a year, and yes. you review. That's right. The training classes we review uh, what we think is working, uh, the percentage of. Uh, how many people attend, mm -hmm. and and then we get feedback on what you thought about the class and the instructor. Right, they get, they get graded somewhat, and then we know well this is not a good fit for what we need. And, and right, and I'm not gonna lie, I teach I teach a couple classes, and I love when I get those, <laughs> I get their <laughs> reviews back, and it's funny because you know as an instructor, the first thing you do is like flip to the comments to see what they say. Yes, yes, and it's important <laughs> to be honest about it, but um, as a, a whole. GMA has picked some great instructors, yeah. and they get some good reviews. Yes, and even even when we don't, and, I, and I've been one where I, there's a couple of times where it's like, you know, they have pointed out things, and I and I have revised my 
my class or you know tighten things up where I where I took their feedback as it was as as constructive criticism and improved the program. And, and that's a good thing because you went back and retooled yeah. and came back with what's needed. And, and speaking of retooling, mm -hmm. the training board has over the last two years really looked at the structure of our training classes. Talk a little bit about some of the changes that you guys have made. Yes, um, the board came up and we found that in our last meeting that some of the classes were not pertinent to what's happening. We want to change some course titles because it would encourage people to come. Right. Because the title could be the thing that's throwing you off, not the material. Right. And so uh, we've looked at, um, uh, like I said, Pork's Fer Ferguson, that's a very hot topic. Um, the cameras and the police, that's big. Yep. And so uh, law enforcement somewhat is being hot on the on the, right, on the path right. right now. And that's great because you guys do this critical or emerging issues. That's right. Which could be any you know anything that is right now current. So it's not like at the beginning of the year you're deciding these are the classes that we're offering. You just have a, like a placeholder for emerging issues and as you get closer you realize this is what this emerging issue is. Yes, and, and, and we have some, some hot ones on there now. And uh, the good part about it is uh, we're looking for a new name instead of calling it Hot Topics. So, <laughs> so we're working on that, we're working current, on that too. currently. And, and you guys changed some of the hours. So it used to be everything was a six hour class. That's right. Um, and for example, open meetings, open records was one class and it was six hours. That's right. And We've changed a lot to some to six, some to three. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the mobile tours. And I've been very instrumental in bringing the, uh, what we used to call the heart and soul tours, right. uh, visiting other cities and see how, what did they do right, what did they do wrong, so your city can take the easy path yeah. and save the citizens a lot of money. Well, you know, and that's, that's such a great point because these classes, you know, a lot of this, the things that you can learn in the class, you could learn if you stayed in office long enough. But you're going to do it the hard way. That's true. <laughs> it's going to be the painful way. Yeah. And it's going to cost, it could cost your taxpayers, you know, it could cause your community in reputation and legal And that's problems. why I feel the training is so important because I, I would love to see, and I may get in trouble for this, but I, I would love to see the state mandate that you had to go back for uh, concurrent and uh, recurring training the, your whole, whole career. career because there's so many things changing in the world. Yeah. and. The way the, the platform you came in office has changed. Yeah. And, and, and it's not about you, it's about the citizens. Yeah, that's great. Um, so, we didn't talk in one, about the one thing that I think is so key to our, our training, which is the Leadership Institute. Mm -hmm. And yes, I went through the Leadership Institute, and um, uh, the protocol was one of my uh, diplomacy and protocol. Uh -huh. There are so many different things that you need to know, yeah. and then the SIMSOC. Uh, oh. And that is hard, but it teaches you, you know, how society really flows and yeah. what causes things to happen and how you um, diffuse some of those situations. Right. So I, I enjoy that. I don't claim. think there has been a single person who has gone through the Leadership Institute, and we offer that once a year. That's right. And it's um, two and a half days, as I recall. Yes. Um, Grueling. Yes. <laughs> yes. There is not a single person who has come through that and not felt like it was transformational. That's, that's right. That it wasn't just that they learned things. It changed them. Oh, you, you're a different person when you go through that. Yeah. I mean, um, just the camaraderie, uh, because you've got to get with a team, and you got to work it out. Yeah. And, and there is no book to go to and get the answers. you got to come together. It's just like real life. It's real life. It's real life. Right. There's no easy path. Well, we're looking forward to uh, what's coming up with training this year. I know you guys are you know, constantly working things and retooling. We're looking at doing more online training to make it so people don't have to travel to get to training. It's, it's you know, just really exciting. And, and I think it's a testament to the work you and the others are doing on the training board that we have 2,500 training seats this weekend that have been sold, that people are going to these training classes. It says a lot about the quality. It does, and um, uh, then again, hats off to GMA for really just getting involved and keeping us abreast and, and sort of uh, nailing our feet to the floor and say, get it done. Yeah, yeah. Get it done the right way. Well, great. Well, we thank you so much, and we're going to go back out on the floor and visit Kelly and some of the exhibitors.